In the ancient city of Thebes, nestled beneath the towering Mount Olympus, lived a woman of extraordinary beauty and arrogance named Niobe. She was the queen of Thebes and the wife of King Amphion, ruling over her subjects with a regal air that bordered on haughtiness. Niobe's pride, however, was not without reason, for she was the daughter of Tantalus, a mortal who had dined with the gods themselves. One day, as Niobe strolled through the opulent gardens of her palace, she heard the sweet laughter of the nymphs who frequented the nearby stream. The nymphs were rejoicing in their own beauty and grace, their praises and songs filling the air. But Niobe's heart swelled with envy, for she believed herself to be more beautiful than even the goddess Leto, the mother of Apollo and Artemis. With a haughty toss of her head, Niobe declared to her subjects, Why should these lowly nymphs and their mother Leto receive such adoration? Am I not more radiant than the goddess herself? News of Niobe's audacious claim reached the ears of Leto on Mount Olympus, where she resided with her divine children, Apollo and Artemis. Enraged by the mortal's arrogance, Leto beseeched her offspring to punish Niobe for her impudence. Apollo, the god of light and music, descended from the heavens with his golden lyre, his divine voice resonating through the city as he stood before Niobe's palace. Mortals must learn humility, he declared, his voice like honey and thunder combined. I, Apollo, have been sent to bring divine justice to this land. In an instant, he strummed his lyre and let forth a radiant arrow of light that struck down Niobe's seven sons, each a brave and valiant warrior. Their lifeless forms lay strewn across the palace courtyard, their noble hearts forever silenced. The city of Thebes was plunged into mourning, and the once proud queen Niobe was shattered. Her tears flowed like rivers, and her cries of grief echoed through the land. But Apollo was not done, for he called forth his twin sister Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Artemis, with her silver bow and unerring aim, descended upon Thebes like a tempest. Her arrows flew like lightning, and in an instant, she struck down Niobe's seven daughters, who had been the pride of their mother's heart. The once beautiful queen stood amidst the lifeless bodies of her children, her arrogance now humbled by the weight of her grief. As Niobe wept, her tears formed a waterfall that cascaded down the mountainside, a symbol of her ceaseless sorrow. The gods, satisfied with their vengeance, returned to Mount Olympus, leaving the city of Thebes to mourn its fallen royal family. Niobe's story serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the consequences of hubris in the face of divine power. Her beauty and pride were no match for the wrath of the gods, and her once proud kingdom was left in ruins, a stark reminder that even the mightiest mortals are but playthings in the hands of the Olympian gods. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Have a beautiful day and thank you for stopping by.